We all can appreciate AI in the sense of medicine, programming, and other tools that can extend ourselves and our imaginative ideas. However, art, be it through visuals, music, or the overall experience, has always been an outlet for human expression. So what about the case of manga, comics, and freelance jobs? Will the accessibility produce an overload of crappy stuff? I can guarantee you, it will. But it will also take certain ideas to the next level from people you least expect. People who are good at one thing, let's say storytelling, now have access to professional level manga panels, which will make ideas come to life that would normally cost a fortune in time and effort. For all the visual artists, it kind of feels like a bummer that all our hard work, putting in the hours to learn how to draw and understand the craft, can be overshadowed by AI in a mere 200 word sentence. Or even at the click of a button with a reference image. Nonetheless, when we delve deeper and speak truthfully, AI could, to some extent, take away the joy of creating art. Do note, this is only true if you make art for others and not yourself. I can imagine that professional photographers were not so enthusiastic about advancements in the mobile phone industry that enabled anyone to take high quality photos. Copywriters are becoming obsolete with AI writing tools, and game programmers are likely to be next in line for a shift, as auto-generating code by mere description becomes more efficient. Nevertheless, regardless of the job you're in, do you feel that AI will outperform your skills in the near future? While it is true that AI is improving, the thing is that in case of creative endeavors, art is subjective. People's perception of beauty changes frequently, with one or two dominant mainstream fashion trends every decade, such as becoming the most popular rapper or YouTuber among children, and the type of car design that is in vogue. What I'm saying is, is that attention shifts when the next big thing emerges. Everything is cyclical, including the AI art trend. True artists will still be the ones who benefit the most. Perhaps people no longer need cheap freelancers, but most of them already use free Photoshop apps for creative advertising anyway. Art on the other hand brings people joy on its own, and its context is what makes it stand out. Why do you think we still admire the great masters of the Renaissance, aside that it's not a popular style anymore? We all know that Leonardo da Vinci painted the Mona Lisa, and most of us probably know that Michelangelo painted the creation of Adam on the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel in Rome. Both paintings took a long time to complete, and were admired over the decades by other artists, but they are no longer mainstream. Manga styles have also changed significantly, from the dark high counter style of the 80s, to the bright, vibrant cells of the 2020s. Things will change even more in the future, especially with virtual reality, which may eliminate 2D art entirely. Why watch Anime when you can be in one? However, that's not the case now, as we live in the present. Things move quickly, no doubt, but there always be some market for 2D. So, what does this all have to do with AI? I'm showing you a lot of AI art in this video, and to be honest, some are really nice. However, when I look at this one, while expertly drawn and may give you a good first impression, this whole image doesn't make sense on a technical level. It's too busy, with multiple characters that are detailed to the max. My eyes go all over the place. An image like this would only work in a summer beach shop that provides these activities. Currently the AI art style is basically the same stuff rehearsed. There's almost no line art. And the colors are bright with all facial features quite identical to each other. This type of style is pretty popular among modern digital art, which I'm sure their algorithm is based on as a reference material. Of course, AI yeah, could do styles from my piece, but that's also the problem. It's intellectual property, which can become way more sensitive quickly, and we humans tend to adapt and get bored quite easily. When you always get the same thing every time, it will have less impact and our attention quickly shifts to something new. This concept is a good thing for artists who learn the craft. To expand on, like I said before, art is subjective. What you think looks nice can be totally different from my preferences. Let's take Picasso and Van Gogh as an example. A lot of people love their work, but personally, I'm not a fan. Although these guys are definitely masters, I won't deny that. 
I just don't like it. Even after I saw both pieces in real life. It's too abstract for me personally. I love the more technical art. Like Rembrandt's The Nachtwacht or The Night Watch in English. Which I also have seen in real life. When we look at some of our game artists. Such as Tetsuya Nomura, Yoji Shinkawa, Akiko Yoshida and Ayami Kojima. They all have totally different styles. I wonder when we will see AI that can copy their artistic vision to perfection. I personally think we are a couple of years away from that. But I must admit that things are going so fast. It's insane. Then again, who can do their art better? The original artist or an AI? Especially with the current 2023 models, which are based on high reference sampling. That said, the perceived value of an art piece can differ drastically for each person as well. For example, what art pieces are higher value? AI copycats and artist imposters based on a specific style? Or the ones that were drawn by the real artists themselves? Is the end result or the process important? Just a fun side note, Final Fantasy XIV artists are actually encouraged to not use digital filters and to recreate the real painting aesthetics. And honestly, it's in my opinion one of the better styles out there. Therefore, as an artist myself, I do recommend that if you feel discouraged by AI, yet want to continue with art, try to find your own style, because that's the only thing that can stand out among dozens of other content. Your style is personal branding, no matter what your art form is. In any field, mainstream loves to follow talented people until they get replaced and fall into niche markets left with their true hardcore fans. And I think this will hold up in our lifetime. To put it in another way, let's say you're a digital illustrator and you're trying to stand out among the noise. Meanwhile, a future prospect is driving to work and asks her phone, Hey Alexa, give me the best digital illustrator with a cartoony webcomic style that fits my budget. And the phone responds with a few names. If your name isn't in the top three, you're screwed. And maybe this is a bit extreme, but I think you get my drift. Also, I think AI animation will revolutionize the industry. Let's say you have designed cool and rather unique characters. Chances are, in a decade or so, AI can just make full animation out of it, and you can share it with the world. How awesome is that? Big studios will become more efficient, shrinking their workforce, firing people, or replacing them. And if that's the case, more indie animation studios will pop up and become their competitors instead. Altogether, hence free routine tasks like drawing leaves room for improvement on overall design. Animators who spend hours perfecting a scene can soon increase the pace significantly, emphasizing expression and viewer experience to a new level. This also means that the AI's effect on the market will result in a massive influx in supply and people's overall attention will decrease. The only artist that will survive, in whatever form, in oversaturated markets, is through quality and social proof. Only those two combined will be the highest assets of them all. This can be in the form of reviews and recommendations of a good product. I personally noticed this, and I think it kind of sucks for our starting artists who did not yet make a name for themselves. First impressions aren't just on context, but on the reviews and star ratings of the project before even considering any further involvement. Look at this and see the difference between the thumbnails. And now look at this from my own channel. The one that trends the most gets the eyeballs. And that's what AI art is right now. In 5 years, another AI whatever is stealing a thunder. And true artists will be left with an awesome tool. To emphasize, it's a tool, not a replacement of you. Mangaka who are not great at background art, can pop them in with a click of a button. Character designers can generate sets of different personas and improve upon their concept, making them more unique. Jobs still exist, content goes faster and people get pickier, leaning towards unique styles being on top. This is also in the light novel industry. In the 90s, the fantasy genre, what we now call old school, was popular. These days, isekai is still trending but the lit RPG genre is starting to overthrow it in the fantasy department. When this run is over, something else will become popular. Also story-wise, certain genres are extremely overdone, and the market is now getting oversaturated with the same stuff rehearsed with a different title. 
To elaborate, harems with many stereotypical girls used to be extremely popular back in the day. Now it's just another harem. And people fall off. Seen that, done that, next. Of course, they are still popular in niches. But mainstream is already quite done with them, as far as I can tell. Size of Life, Wholesome, series are now rising in popularity. But hey, that's my vision on it, which might be or might be not different from yours. All I want to convey is that AI art, in whatever form, is again subjective. When you show a picture of an image and somebody asks, who drew that? And you say AI, it perceived value might be lower than if it was drawn by a person. The question is, will people pay when it's done by AI? It depends on the context, because if it's auto-generated, theoretically, we can all do it. Memes are just creating two separate things into one, which is ideal with the generator. However, if a character was designed mainly by AI, and has a cool story background around it, used in a game or anime, people really don't give a crap. My art channel is a good measurement of this fact. My videos, which emphasizes the artists behind the popular games and characters, as of yet have a low viewership because it's niche. If we look at these videos 3 years from now and I've grown, it's merely social proof that kickstarted me trending. Not because all subs are really interested in art in general. Only the topic of the games they played. How do I know? Because I check out a lot of forums on art, and those topics get like 3 or 4 reply stops. This is the honest truth, but it's definitely, by all means, totally cool. However, when we zoom out and look at the big picture of the market and industry, I do think AI will get a lot of freelance artists into trouble. If kiddos can make a cool flyer for a few tokens and a press of a button, anyone can. Also, these same kids that grow up with AI as a mandatory tool for school will learn and brief how to work with it. They will shape the future to the next level. In this case, a lot of things will go into acceleration and even more routine jobs will succumb to automation. For us artists, it's a great time to be alive because we have all these social platforms and tools to express ourselves. But it's also a bit of a curse to be reliant on tools like AI and the abundance it brings that squeezes the mind. What I found interesting is that, as AI art gets more shared on the internet, algorithms will mimic other software and just level up on each other, and humanized art will stand out and clearly be more unique. In my view, a smartphone is an extensive communication tool. The internet is an extensive knowledge center to share ideas. And AI is the extensive imagination tool we seek. The bottom line is... I think AI art is not something to be scared of, and should be embraced. All industries will fall under its wing sooner or later anyway. I'm Fancy Light Nova author GPFUGS, and I'm honestly curious about what you guys think about it. Have you used AI software or similar tools? And are you planning to use it more often?